Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Naruto Explain here, bringing you guys another discussion for Boruto Naruto Next Generations, the anime. And I gotta say, man, we got some really, really juicy information about the upcoming Boruto episodes, in particular the car actuation arc, and that's what this video is gonna focus on. And I just wanna kinda clear something up, because a lot of people are saying, oh my god, these are spoilers. I don't put these in the category of being spoilers, because this is information that TV Tokyo and Studio Periot, they have published on purpose in order to draw a pipe for the upcoming episodes and i gotta say based on the promotional video based on the trailer for the car actuation arc and now these episode summaries this is really really interesting right here okay like they're giving you just enough to get your uh get your mouth wet without spoiling the whole episode so i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna talk about these one by one i'm getting a lot of requests to talk about the promotional summaries and i typically don't do that so we'll try this out and depending on how you guys respond to it i might do this on a monthly basis and like usual if you're not following organic dinosaur make sure to go over on twitter make sure to thank her for all of her hard work and make sure to give her a follow she's a, an amazing amazing contributor to the naruto slash borto community has been for a lot of years now so make sure you give her a follow going into episode 157 is titled traces of cars so if you've seen some of my videos talking about sasuke inside then you're already familiar with some of this material but basically in episode 157 it says based on the intel that they acquired from shojoji the boss of the mujina bandits uchiha sasuke and yamanaka sai visit a location in the hidden rain village that seems to be a hideout for the mysterious organization car due to an incident that had occurred in the past the underground waterway is now off limits and restricted from access however sasuke and sai immediately try to start their investigation then someone who knows about car Garashi appears in front of the two of them with Garashi leading the way and they embark on their search and inquiry into the hideout so that right there that's interesting so the very first thing the very first thing I want to kind of point my attention to is they talk about an underground waterway that's now off limits and restricted because of an incident that happened in the past now this really makes me wonder is this what happened with the Jiraiya versus pain incident because if you guys will recall in that Jiraiya versus pain part some of the uh, parts in that area did get busted up and you know you did have a section of the hidden rain village that was covered in water because of that fight so i'm wondering if maybe some of those pipes got busted and something like that ended up leading to it i'm wondering if that's what it is or if this is gonna be something different but overall this one's got me hyped because again we've seen traces of this so we know that this is gonna be good so what i like about this preview right here is that we're finally getting that moment where essentially we're seeing sasuke actually hunt down the car members which is what we know in the manga Sasuke was doing off screen so I like that they're kind of following up on this now in episode 158 which is titled the man who disappeared it's gonna focus more so on Boruto and so the episode summary for this one says Boruto and his comrades of team 7 have been ordered to go on a mission to search for the laboratory researcher from a medical care manufacturer whose whereabouts have become unknown however the client lives in a distant faraway country in addition the missing laboratory researcher works on looking for novel useful materials and ingredients for medical technology purposes his job entails traveling to various other places and so it would seem to be difficult to search for someone whose location isn't even known that's interesting right there that 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 shows that they have to have tracking skills that's me interesting to see who in team seven can actually track my money's on mitsuki uh also it says for the sake of team seven it's been arranged for someone familiar with the terrain mujino to guide and help them on this mission. As a Joni who embarks on long-term military campaigns and missions, Mujino is also someone with whom Konohamaru Sarutobi knows very well. Together with Mujino, Boruto, and his comrades of Team 7, they start their mission. But then, so they're leaving you with a cliffhanger. So if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I know this is going to sound weird because a lot of you guys joke, I know every single small Naruto character. If I'm not mistaken, Mujino is the person who is fighting alongside Konohamaru in the Owl arc, if I'm not mistaken. That's going to be interesting because if that's the case, we're getting some character development for a character that pops up in the Owl arc. That That's fascinating to me. They said this arc was going to flesh out a lot of the stuff that we're getting ready to dive into, and we're seeing it firsthand. So that's interesting. You know, the other thing is they could give us a little bit of information on the relationship between Konohamaru and Mujino. Is this somebody who Konohamaru goes on special missions with? Those of you guys who saw the video, 
video that I did talk about Konohamaru's special missions. This is why Konohamaru's not on every single mission with Team 7 because of the special rank that he has as a Jonin. So that's interesting to me right there. If this guy's working with Konohamaru, then the guy in theory is supposed to be really skilled because Naruto put a lot of praise on Konohamaru and it says in here that Konohamaru knows him very well and goes on missions on the long term. So that's interesting. But you know, the other tidbit is if you read the manga, the line that should stand out is that the person that Boruto's looking for works on uh, medical technology. We know how the scientific ninja weapons tech that is used for the car members is integrated into their bodies. This looks like that might be a way of kind of setting that up right there. So that's interesting that we're already seeing some stuff that we're getting in the manga starting to get explained here in the anime. So this is good, man. This is this is good. So so we got a couple more of these. So the next one's going to take us into the first week of August, and this one is Boruto episode 159, titled Hashirama Cells. <laughs> And it's always like, damn, man. Hashirama cells can't catch a break right now, man. They got pimped out all throughout Naruto Shippuden, and now they're getting pimped in the Boruto series. You're absolutely right. But let's see how this one's going right here. Because if they're, if they're talking about tying in Hashirama cells with potentially the scientific ninja weapons tech that Kara uses, that might explain why some of these characters, actually all these characters are as strong as they are. And it would also explain why they're able to heal in the way that they do. So that's interesting. So right here, the episode summary says, Boruto and his comrades have finally located the missing laboratory researcher. However, his appearance and demeanor has completely changed. He's lost control over himself. While battling against the laboratory researcher who's rampaging with all his might, Boruto and his comrades want to somehow bring him back home safely to their client's location. Then the president of the medical manufacturing company, Victor, appears. He's being accompanied by his own search party as they've been looking for their laboratory researcher as well. And so they restrain the laboratory researcher and take him away immediately. The mission for Boruto and his comrades has ended in failure. Meanwhile, an unusual phenomenon occurs within Mitsuki's body. So that right there, that right there, that last line interests me because I, I, I said, I just did a video earlier this week talking about the importance of Orochimaru's family. And I said that it wouldn't surprise me if Mitsuki was of interest to somebody connected to Carr, or if Log was interested to somebody connected to Carr. And so it looks like they're going to be potentially paying off that line. Remember we had that scene in the Mitsuki disappearance arc where essentially you had that scientist that was very interested in Mitsuki because Mitsuki had a soul. So that's interesting that something's happened with Mitsuki body right here so backing up a little bit now we have the first anime episode that we know for certain that victor is going to be in victor as you guys know is an inner car member so that right there that goes into something i've been talking about for months now which is with all the information that kodachi has told us that all these car members are very well connected these members that are in car are members who have their fingers in a lot of different aspects in particular the outer members have their fingers in a lot of aspects they have a lot of political power they have a lot of financial power Victor is somebody who is acting like an outer member because he is running the medical company and yet at the same time he's an inner member so that leads me to believe like I've said before he's got a very high profile uh, position which is why he can't necessarily step down in this way so essentially has to be that character that villain that's hiding in plain sight so that's interesting and when they talk about the scientists losing control and going on a rampage what that lets me say is that like what we're getting up seeing is boards on team seven they're gonna be fighting this guy and they're gonna be uh holding back because they don't want to do damage to a civilian so i do have high hopes for this episode just on the fact that we're seeing for the first time how car is hiding in plain sight so this next episode is the one that i'm the most excited about and i'll probably make a separate video going over this all together but episode 160s is titled headed towards the land of silence now those of you guys who have been with me as i've been talking about the shikamaru heated novel the cloud drifting through the wind you guys are familiar with the land of silence if you've seen naruto shippuden you're somewhat familiar with it what the information that we have in the novel and the information in the anime are a little bit different but it's good to see that boruto that the boruto anime is going to be touching on this because what we're getting this summary here is a more accurate representation of what the land of silence should have been so in this episode summary it says that miski is left behind with Yubina, who is the physician and Mujino's acquaintance. Since Boruto and his comrades want to track down some clues about the incident, they head out to the black markets in the Land of Silence. The Land of Silence has insufficiencies in its public order. It's become a lawless area where ninjas and 
and degenerates, evil people, they all gather. People can't even be a little bit careless. In an extremely dangerous area, there's someone who runs a shop and would serve as a good source of intel. And so, Bolt and the others pay a visit to this ruffian shopkeeper. After engaging in a battle with the bouncer, Bolt and his comrades managed to somehow extract information out of the shopkeeper. But then, so that right there, that interests me because what we're seeing here is we're seeing more exploration of the world building because the land of silence and i did a whole video explaining the geography and the political ramifications of what the land of silence is in a video called the land of silence explained they're talking about stuff in this episode that i talked about in that video i made months ago so i highly recommend checking that out but when they talk about how it's descended into a place of lawlessness this is the place where after the fourth great ninja war a lot of shinobi and a lot of people who believed in Madoru Chia's ideology when it comes to Infinite Tsukiyomi, they left and they gathered there. In the Land of Silence, you have situations where the samurai control a large portion of that continent, but the Land of Silence is a small area where you have shinobi. So this is going to be very interesting to see this and to see how it's fallen further since Gingo has been captured. That's going to be interesting to see that because when you gather that many people with all those differing views on the world, all those different ideologies, this has a huge potential for conflict. Now, I like how Boruto, we had to see Boruto leave Konoha, go to the Hidden Valley country, and now he's going to the Land of Silence, which is pretty far away from Konoha. So that's interesting right there that we're seeing these characters travel around, and it's because there's connections with cars. So that interests me a lot right there. That interests me a lot because it shows exactly what the anime director was talking about, which is that when Boruto starts dealing with the car members and starts dealing with everything cars involved in the whole tone is going to shift for those of you guys who watch the anime you're not aware of this but essentially the mujina bandits arc and everything that happens before that that's essentially the prologue of the borto story the main story is what happens once car gets introduced so this is the last part of the prologue right here this is stuff that wasn't in the manga but this is stuff that is setting up the huge manga events because like myself and others have said once you get into the owl arc of the story things are going to hit from zero to 60 very quickly so this is interesting right here that they're building it up in this way so i mean overall i'm very excited about these spoilers i'm very excited because we're finally we're finally getting some real conflict and tension here but let me know which episode you guys are most excited about and let me know if you guys want me to continue talking about the uh, promotional information about the episodes as they come out every month but as always guys if you like anything i have to say don't forget to comment rate subscribe and share thank you so much for watching until the end have an awesome day guys